Shea butter, honey. Shea butter, baby. Woo! You know what I'm saying. <laughs> somewhat messy studio well should i even say somewhat it is messy honey i got a lot of cleaning up to do but anyways i decided that i was going to just show y'all um my backdrop which is really not a backdrop um keeping it raw and real here this is my studio okay this is a garage <laughs> this is um one part of my parents garage that they let me use and turn into a studio so this is where i am right now um keeping it raw and real with y'all because this is about the journey this is about the the process okay because hunty we we're just gonna keep leveling up from here and it's all thanks to god and you guys so thank you for your support thank you for watching my videos thank you for supporting me no matter when i post and when i don't post because remember i told y'all i was gonna be posting every friday well you see now that's not the case <laughs> and i'm sure y'all know me by now to know that when it comes to youtube i'm not a consistent person and that is okay and i had to come to terms with that because you know being a creative being an artist you know i have to take a step back like we all have to take a step back and really just focus on our mental creativity and you know because we're you know being on social media we feel this constant pressure to continue to you know put out content and you know what I'm saying? Be keep keep ourselves relevant and stuff like that. But that's not how art works. That's not how the creative mind works. We need time to give ourselves time to work on our spiritual, work on our mental, so that we can be totally in the right mind space to get our art done. Because if it wasn't for my art, if it wasn't for my creativity, I wouldn't have YouTube. I wouldn't have my business or anything. So I got to make sure that I take the time that I need to make sure that I'm mentally good and that my art is, you know, taking its time and it's never forced just for content. You know what I mean? So I had to just really realize that. Thank you guys for understanding. Y'all are the bomb. Y'all are the best supporters like I could ask for. I'm really blessed to have supporters as you guys. Y'all are amazing. Um, I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more of my studio when I'm ready to. I got a um, inventory thing. You know, what? I'm going to just show it to you guys so y'all can see what I've been working on a little bit. So hold on, let me let me do that real quick. Okay, so this is my little inventory shelf. Okay, it's a little messy right now because I'm getting ready to um, get the keychain lip glosses. The last the last restock for the keychain lip glosses, I'm getting ready to get that together and I had to get everything organized. And um, this is going to be filled up with these pink boxes soon, but I'm still trying to work on getting everything in. I've got some things coming and things that I need to organize. Also, you guys, I want to show y'all something. I've been wanting to, because, like, I've been wanting to get this inventory shelf for the longest time. Shout out to Bay for helping me to put it together. Thank you, boo-boo. Oh, my gosh. I love you. But anyways, um, yeah, I've been wanting this little inventory shelf. I've, I've been watching. Have y'all been watching, like, small business TikTok videos and, like, those small business video compilations? Those things are so cute. Like, it really inspires me a lot. So that's why I was, like, super excited to get this and... Also, over here, you guys, I got myself a whole sticker drawer. And look, I got new stickers, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to show y'all that. But I done organized everything. I got drawers for it. I got, you know, drawers for all my stuffs. Hunty, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it together. Boo -boo. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, um, I can't wait to show y'all more of that later. But today, we are going to be putting together the um, keychain lip gloss. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I wouldn't call it a tutorial because honestly, I don't even think I really showed it that way well what I was doing, but I'm gonna let y'all know where I got the keychain stuff from. Like, um, what is it, the little tools to put them together? I'm gonna show y'all that. So yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with it. And let's go ahead and start putting these keychains together, y'all. 
Alrighty, alrighty, you guys. So I've got my little box filled with my organized Ziploc bags. Y'all, let me tell you, Ziploc bags came in clutch, okay? I've got each of the different lip gloss flavors and the keychains that go with it in these bags. And I've just got it all organized. So it's really nice to just have everything together um, and, you know, just make sure all that is good. Shout out to Bay for helping me to do inventory for my stickers and for my lip gloss keychains this week. Thank you, boo boo. Um, so first, we're going to start out with the vitamin E, the vitamin E lip glosses. And this is with my girl, our girl, Island Babe. Oh, girl, boo -boo. But before we do that, I'm going to put my gloves on, you know, keep everything nice and sterile. And we're going to clean the surface. So if you see those little white little things or the little residue, that's just sticker residue that got stuck on there. So, um, you know, I wasn't able to get that up because you know how stickers can be just so stubborn sometimes. But yeah, so I'm going to clean the surface up and all of the lip glosses, they are not open. They are wrapped in packaging when I receive them. So all of it is nice and clean and pristine. Oh, girl, honey. So this is the lip gloss. Yes, she's nice. She's cute. She's purple vitamin E and I just thought she would look so cute with Island Babe. So I'm taking Island Babe out. Um, if you guys want to know where I got the lip glosses from, I got them from Etsy. Um, I cannot say where I got my keychains made because they do have my art files. So, you know, obviously I cannot give away that information for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to show you guys the tools that I use now to put together the keychain. So I've got these little ch chain links that I got from Amazon. I, if I can, I'll find the link for it. I have this hole puncher that my mom got me. Shout out to my mom to give me the hole puncher because she saw I was struggling because y'all I was using um, uh, what is those little push thumbnail pins before um instead of that so she was like you know what? i'm gonna get my baby this little little hole puncher and it really came in clutch it's perfect i love it and then i also have a, a little pincher thing so i could pinch the the chain links together um and then the hearts the little fluffy hearts i got those from alibaba okay alibaba come in clutch <laughs> so yeah y'all um so i am just going to start out with punching the hole into the lip gloss and now i usually just do the whole like on that little black part right there and i'm using the smallest setting because that's really all that i need um so i'm gonna just get that on and pop in on and pop in um yeah this is amazing this little hole puncher sometimes it doesn't get it all the way so i'll take the little pincher and then i'll get the the rest of it out that it didn't get and that's real easy so i just did that Alrighty, alrighty. okay so um, before I did this, I actually had to look at another one of my uh, previous keychains that I made and I had to remember how I did it because <laughs> it was it's been a minute since I put them together and it's actually a little strategic way that I put it together just so when you're holding the keychain, it kind of falls nicely so that you can see the, the keychain art, you can see the lip gloss and the cute little fluffy just all together laid out nice and pretty and stuff. Um, so now with these keychain links, I'm using number eight. That's the size that I'm using. So if I give you guys a link for this, you'll know which one to use. But I definitely think I want to get um, a different kind of chain link thing because I really only use the number eight size in this one. Um, so yeah, now I'm basically just going to be putting the chain link into the lip gloss first. And then I'm going to be connecting the keychain art, my keychain, my raw keychain. I call these raw glosses, y'all, because it's my art raw sushi and it's with some gloss. So they raw glosses. Yes, boo boo. So I'm having a little struggle, as you can see, because these gloves, these gloves be getting in the way, honey. It's not easy trying to put these things together with these gloves on. So next time I'm going to just, you know, just use hand sanitizer on my hands so I don't have to wear these gloves. <laughs> um... But yeah, either way, I'll put it on, you know, before and after wash my hands and then put the gloves on um, or vice versa. So, yeah, now I'm just pinching and squeezing. That's what I like to do when I put the chain on there. Pinch and squeeze. Don't just pinch it together, but pinch and squeeze it together. This will make sure it's extra durable. And once I, you know, do that, I, um, I did a little durability test and you'll see that you'll see that in a second. But um Yes, you can watch me struggle as I'm pinching and squeezing this little little chain link together, y'all. 
Um, it takes a little bit. It definitely took a long time for me to get it together. Um, oh, I'm shaking it and baking it, y'all. You got to see if it's durable. You got to. So I had to like shake it a little bit, make sure. See, that lip gloss ain't going nowhere. That keychain ain't going nowhere. I had to make sure of it, y'all. So I'm doing a little durability test, y'all, so y'all can see that the lip gloss, the keychain ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Just don't be too rough with it now. <laughs> but um, yeah, before I used the hole puncher and all that stuff, I was using a thumbnail tack to punch the hole into the lip gloss so i was really struggling at first trying to get the the keychains through it and all that stuff so it took me a good 20 50 maybe 50 tries i don't know if it was that much but it was a lot of a lot of tries until i got it right um so yeah i just like to make sure that the chain links are right i check them and make sure that they're you know nice and good you know because you know i try to do everything i do with excellence as best as i possibly can <laughs> so um, next I'm going to be doing the heart fluff. Got to have that heart fluffy y'all. Um, I love heart fluffs. I, I love keychains. I mean, I've collected keychains since I was younger. Um, everywhere I would go around the world, I would just get different keychains from different places in the world. So keychains have always had a special part in my heart. Um, but I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in a few, but, um, next I like to get the chain link and I start off by putting it in the middle of the ring of the keychain and to be honest i really don't know how i came up with this little formula <laughs> but i guess i just did a did a bunch of different tries until i figured out how the heart fluff and the keychain and the lip gloss would all lay nicely because you know when you hold it you know when i hold it i wanted it to look like lay nicely i don't know if i could explain this right but you'll see as i hold it up after i'm done with this one how it kind of lays nicely you can see the lip gloss you can see the 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 art keychain and the heart fluff without everything kind of overlapping each other um so yeah i just put that and connect the heart keychain right there in the middle of that link and then i squeeze and pinch it together and then there we go we've got the got the lip gloss raw gloss keychain y'all okay raw gloss keychain see how it lays so you can see the lip gloss you can see the art keychain and you can see the fluff like yes honey look at that holographic okay she is shiny she is glittery she is sparkly okay <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i love this combo i think it's really aesthetic and it's really nice and pleasing to the eye so um yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and make my other two this is actually one of the new um raw gloss keychains that i've added to my keychain collection and now i'm gonna do the next two new ones and i'm gonna speed that up for you guys and i'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the raw glosses and everything and yeah you guys i really love 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 how this one came out i think this one is my favorite so far because you know you gotta love island babe so let's go ahead and get the other ones made y'all Alrighty, alrighty. So our next raw gloss keychain is our Mocha Babe. Okay, Mocha Babe, y'all. And Mocha Babe, I think she's definitely one of my fave pieces that I've done because she's actually holding one of my phone cases um, with my art on it, which I just, uh, I just love that. I think it's so cute. Um, and I decided to pair her with the Shea Butter Lip Gloss. Shea Butter, baby. I know I'm going to do that a couple times in this video. <laughs> and then I decided to go ahead and get out um, the Black Girl Magic one as well so that I can have that already out and ready. And we're going to get this on and pop in. Okay. So, yeah, you guys, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my, you know, this journey of these raw gloss keychains and everything since you know i've already explained to you all how i put them together so now i can just talk to you guys a little bit um about how it just came to be so i knew for the longest time that i love 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 keychains i love keychains as i explained to you guys i would collect them all the time when i was younger everywhere that i would travel with my family go on family vacays i would always get keychains from wherever we went and i would just collect them and i love putting them on my book bag like i literally had the most keychains on my book bag you guys i wish i had a picture but i always had keychains all over my book bag it was my thing it was something that i collected i never really collected things but keychains was definitely that one thing that i would collect and i just i love them so much i just like the sound that they made and i don't know it's just I don't know, there's something so special about keychains to me. So I've always loved keychains. Um, and then I've always loved fluffy things. Like I love little like fur 
and you know of course faux fur obviously and i just loved having those little things like it's just so cute to me and then obviously lip gloss lip gloss has always been my favorite i've loved lip gloss more than i've loved lipstick so i just decided you know what i want to do a lip gloss kitchen plus i've seen um some other small businesses put together um lip gloss keychains and i just think it i thought it was the cutest thing and inspired me and i was like oh i should put my art on the lip gloss keychain and I think this will be cute and it'll be something different especially you know the fact that I I love makeup and I love art and you know how you know I've been talking about how I wanted to combine the two and share it with my audience and you know praise God you all really received it so well like I mean the the feedback that I got with the first launch of the lip the raw gloss lip gloss keychains like you guys loved it y'all ate it up I mean honestly I I, I was I was really shocked because at first, you know, I was a little, I was a little hesitant. So I'm just like, oh man, you know, this is so different. You know, I know that they're used to me, you know, just doing art and drawing and all this stuff. And now all of a sudden I'm coming out with some lip glosses. So, you know, it was definitely a new step for me, but I was like, I trust in God. I know that, you know, he gave me this idea for a reason and I feel it in my heart to pursue it because this is something that I love and something that I would actually want. Um, because, you know, I believe in creating products that is something that I actually would want to have. Like if I like this is what I give it. I'd give advice to you if you're trying to come up with a product or something. Think about something that you would love to buy when you go into the store. Like like if you saw that you would want to get it. You know what I mean? So that's the kind of way that I think everyone should really think about you know, their their business or if you're trying to start a business and you're just trying to figure out what kind of products that you want, think about what you would love to see in a store, what you would love to grab, what you would love to have. So that's kind of my inspiration for the products that I make and the things that I come out with. There's just things that I would, you know, want to have myself. And these raw gloss keychains, I love them so, so much. And I know you guys know that this is going to be the last restock for the raw gloss keychains yes i know and that's just because you know it's time for me to move on and work on some new things i've got some new things in store some new things planned and it's just time to move on so yeah you guys make sure that you guys are ready friday april 9th you guys at 12 a.m eastern time all right all right okay so i don't want you guys to miss out on that because i know a lot of you guys wanted the the keychains but they sold out like in literally almost a day really I think I don't really remember but they really went fast so definitely you guys keep an eye out for it Friday will be the last restock and I can't wait to you know see you guys with your keychains let me know down in the comments below which ones you'll you'll be getting and these ones that I'm showing in the video that I'm making are the three new ones so we've got honey shea butter and vitamin E y'all yes honey I was like you know what for this last launch I want to add on three more um, because I would love to see Island Babe, Mocha Babe, and Black Girl Magic on a keychain for the lip glosses. So, yeah, I think it turned out really well. Um, but, yeah, like, I think I realized, especially, you know, since I was, you know, on YouTube and I was doing videos a lot, that I just really love being in business. I love having, you know, my own small business. I love packaging up orders. I mean, like I said in the beginning, I love watching those cute little TikTok compilations of small businesses packaging up their orders. I mean, I'm telling you that stuff inspires me. It it just it it sparks me. Like it gives me like this this beautiful little spark within my heart. Like I just get so happy. <laughs> and I just think about like when I package up my orders and how much joy it brings me to just put that extra love into it and the smiles that I see in the the uh, from my customers from you guys from all of you who purchase like when you guys tag me in your photos with your merch I mean I I mean it really warms my heart and it just you know, it just shows me how amazing God is and how great he is that when, you know, you just follow his plans for your life, how amazing things can work out for you. So, you know, if you have an idea, if you have something you want to do, trust in God and go for it. Do that idea and you got it, girl. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this process and I'll see you all in the outro. <laughs>
keychains are done, you guys. Okay, so I made all the keychains that I needed to make for um, like doing my pictures over for the website and stuff like that. But these are all the keychains. Okay, we've got, who's this girl? This is Butterfly Beauty. Okay, we've got Butterfly Beauty. And she has the Argan Oil Lip Gloss. Okay, 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 we've got Butterfly Babe. And she has the rose hip oil. We've got our girl Afro Cutie with a little bit of the coconut oil right here. Okay. Yes, honey. And then we've got Butterfly Glow. Look, you know me over here trying to remember these names, y'all. <laughs> Butterfly Glow with the Argan Oil. And we got our girl Soft Girl right here with the mango, the mango butter. Y'all can see her? There you go. And then we got our girl, this is one of the new ones, Black Girl Magic. Let me see if you can see the hollow. Can y'all see the hollow there? Real cute, right? And we got her with the honey. Super cute. Then we've got a favorite of mine, really, Bubblegum Babe. I really love Bubblegum Babe. Can you see the hollow? Which side is the hollow one? There you go. You can see it better in different lighting. And then she's got the rosehip oil. And then we've got our girl, Mocha Babe, okay? And she's got the Shea Butter, honey. Shea Butter, baby. Woo! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that's right, boo-boo. Okay, and then we, ooh, look at me finna drop stuff. Anyways, we got our girl, Island Babe. I know y'all love Island Babe. Island Babe has been one of my most popular pieces on rawsushi.com. So Island Babe has the vitamin E oil because you know the aesthetic, the color it matches. So I just thought you gotta be <laughs> And then I think that's it. That's all of them. So yeah, y'all. Um let me know down in the comments below which keychain will you be getting. Um make sure to stay tuned Friday 4 9 Okay, April 9th at 12 a.m. Eastern time, you guys. And this is the last time I will be selling these lip gloss keychains, okay? The last time. So I wanted to let you guys know, I don't want you guys to miss out on this. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Raw Sushi so you guys can stay up to date to know everything that's going on and be there when the release happens, y'all, 12 a.m. Because these things, these babies be going fast, y'all, so... I wanna let y'all know beforehand so y'all could be ready and y'all can get it before it's gone. So yeah, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it was able to inspire you in some kind of way or if you learned something from it, that's so lit. I'm so happy that you did. Um, but I can't wait to do, you know, just more videos showing you guys how I package up stuff, um, doing my prints with my printer. I know y'all wanna know that. Um, what else? stickers, everything. So I can't wait to be able to show you guys some more things. Thank y'all so much for being patient. Just make sure to keep up to date with me. I post a lot on the community board on my YouTube channel um, whenever I'm not posting just to keep you guys up to date of what I'm doing. And on my Instagram, my Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Follow me, boo. So we can stay up to date with each other. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all on my next one. Peace, love, and God bless my love. Bye.